Hi, my name is Anna Goldsecker from Soma de Yerba Company. It is an amazing opportunity for me to create community and connection, which is basically what my company is all about. I created Soma de Yerba Company about four years ago here in Baltimore. We service the entire United States and we also ship to other countries. I was raised here in Baltimore, but I was actually born in Argentina, and that is where I learned about the ritual of yerba mate. I grew up drinking yerba mate um, with my grandmother, with my mother, with my aunts and uncles, with my cousins. It is an incredible ritual. Um, it is something that can bring together many generations, and I'm gonna explain to you why. When I talk about yerba mate, I talk about it on many different levels. So yes, there are incredible health benefits to drinking yerba mate. It's actually a superfood. But the ritual behind it is so amazing. And right now, in the time of stress and insanity, we all might need a little ritual that just brings us to center. Yerba mate is actually an herb. It's an indigenous plant to South America. And the people that were living off of the land would start chewing um, the leaves of the plant. And later on, when research was done, they realized some incredible things. For example, this is the reason why certain groups of people survived famine when others didn't. There are many interesting stories around yerba mate, um, and I won't go into all of them, but I will tell you about the fable that's told around yerba mate. It takes place centuries ago, and supposedly there was a tribe that was wandering with a sick member. This sick member was banished to the forest. And in the forest, this man started weeping. He was all alone, he was sick, and he didn't feel well. And he sat under a tree, and he started talking to the tree. And eventually, he fell, he fell in love with this tree. And the tree started giving him nourishment and life, and actually healed him. Well, this tree turned out to be a yerba mate plant. And it is said that there is a goddess behind the yerba mate plant. So when they say yerba mate is a gift from the gods, they're actually referring back to this myth. I'm gonna give a quick tutorial on yerba mate. Sure, you can drink yerba mate with a tea bag, no problem, but you're missing out on the whole ritual behind it. So there's a couple components to the yerba mate drink. One is a yerba cup. So it originally started out of literally a gourd. So this gourd has been hollowed out and dried and hand painted. This is one of the things that I import from Argentina. Most typically people drink out of that, but I'm going to use this so you can see what I'm doing. There are cowboys in South America, and they're actually called gauchos. When the gauchos heard about the yerba mate, they started questioning the people. And because the gauchos were constipated, they were only eating cow meat, they started drinking the yerba mate. Yerba mate actually helps you go to the bathroom. So if you are constipated, yerba mate is your go-to. After a while, yerba mate caught on with the cowboys and they would drink in a circle around campfires. And after a while, the city folk kind of tuned into it and they started drinking yerba mate too. Once that started happening, the artisans of the area started working with different gourds. So this is actually a glass gourd that is quite modern. Maybe within the last 10 to 15 years, glass gourds started to become popular. So kind of interesting all the different things that happen around the gourd. Gourd is the first thing. Second thing is a bombilla. A bombilla is actually a strainer straw. Yerba mate is mostly enjoyed in a loose leaf tea kind of form. The uh, bombilla has two parts. It's the mouthpiece and the filter. 
and this comes in thousands of different uh, designs. It's actually quite innovative still when you think about it. So you don't need a tea bag, you just use this. And then of course, yerba mate. And at Soul Mate, I have a whole bunch of different blends for you. And you know what we're coming out with now is our pumpkin blend. All right, so we're gonna start with the yerba mate cup. If you're a beginner and it's your first time using yerba mate, you just have to put two tablespoons into the yerba mate cup. Then you are going to put the bombilla in, pour hot water over, and then you can enjoy yerba mate. The important thing with yerba mate is that you don't want the water to sit in the tea leaves for very long. This is a very quick infusion. The water is meant to pass through, not steep. So it's very different from the teas that we're all kind of used to. So this, as a beginner, is great. But I've been drinking this since I was a baby. And so when I drink yerba mate, I'm filling it all the way up to the top I put water in and I sip. The idea is to pour and sip continuously. So you might get out of a yerba mate cup maybe about 10 to 15 pours, depending on how strong you like your yerba mate. Some interesting things to note about this is that the yerba will always be hot. So I just pour right before I'm going to drink. In other words, it's not going to sit there, get cold and horrible. I am ready to drink, I'm gonna pour a little bit in. Another thing is you can also sweeten the tea. Now, here I'm gonna talk about the most beautiful part of yerba mate. It's actually a communal ritual. So if you are at a table in Argentina sharing a yerba mate, we would all share the same one. There's one person that's pouring the water and I basically will know how this person likes it, how you like it, how the other person likes it, and I will either sweeten it, not sweeten it, give it to you weak or strong, depending on how you like it. So it's a way of the host to kind of take care of their guests. Now, of course, now because of COVID and other things, and here in the United States even, most people aren't comfortable sharing the same mate gourd. So in that case, I just give each person their own yerba mate. That's a basic idea on yerba mate. Uh, come visit us at www.somateyerba.com. Any questions, please feel free to reach out. So those are the basics on yerba mate. I hope you enjoyed this and that you got something out of it. You can find me at www.somateyerba.com. You can also email me any question at Anna, A-N-A, one N, at soulmateyerba.com. Until next time, I hope to see you guys one day in person. Mwah. Ciao.